Hey, this is John, and today I am talking about how to make backups. I recently turned on one of my computers to find that one of the hard drives that it had wasn't there. Well, the hard drive was there physically, but it didn't work anymore. This hard drive was less than six months old, and it was the hard drive that I had bought to put all of my pictures, all of my home movies, all of my music from over the years, all of my movies from over the years, onto this hard drive. I had put everything on this hard drive, and it had failed in less than six months. So if you think that, that your hard drive won't fail, you're mistaken. Hard drives all fail at some point. So I'm doing this post because at, when this happened, my wife kind of started to flip out, and she didn't really realize that I was such a backup freak, and I had 16 backups of things. I don't know how many it really is, but I had a lot of backups. I was totally fine. All I had to do was restore a backup of, of all that stuff, and it was probably 300 gigabytes of data, but I had multiple backups of it. I was okay. If you don't have backups, when this happens to you, you're going to be really sorry. So that's the reason I'm making this post. I started thinking about the backups that other people make, and I thought I'd share with you what I do. Now I'm going to share with you uh, some of the things that I have set up, and, I'll, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So let me first show you how I, how I set up an on-site backup. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to pick this up, move this down here. I hope that you can see this. Down here I have two of my computers under my desk. Here is hard drive number one, 500 gigs. Here is hard drive number two, also 500 gigs. And actually, I have another hard drive sitting here on my desk. Hard drive number three that I'm about to put in, 640 gigs. Set that up here. You can see my monitors, four monitors there. Those are the hard drives that I have here on this computer. Uh, now, these hard drives I've set up to back up other computers also. So, And in my blog post, I, I talk a little bit about how you can set them up. Uh, they have automatic backup software. Now, I, now I want to get into showing you how I use Mosey also. And I'm going to just go through this really briefly so that you understand how to use it. I'm going to try and make this quick, but I want to show you how I back up certain things. So when I back up my computer, number one, I use Mosey. So you can see that Mosey is in the process of backing up 133.7 gigs. This is about a third of the data that I back up. And I recently decided to just start backing up more stuff after that crash happened because I wanted to make sure I, I had absolutely everything. So it's in the middle of a backup. I'll get rid of that. When you configure Mosey, I just want to show you a little bit of how it works. Mosey by default will back up all of these things for you. We're processing documents, videos, photos, uh, your documents your favorites, say your bookmarks. Now also it will let you go into your file system and back up things on your computer. So I have all kinds of stuff here that I have it back up and I have things that I, I don't have it back up for me. And I, I can check them and uncheck them and anytime let's say my business folder changes it's gonna back that up automatically for me. So that's how Mosey works and then then you can schedule it I don't want it to back up when it's my computer is being used, and I want it to let me know after three days that our backup has failed. Um, it'll tell you your history. It'll it'll help you restore it. It's pretty. It's a pretty good system. So that's how you use Mosey. I would highly suggest it. Here is the disk manager that I have, uh, or the the software that came with the hard drive that I showed you. It's called the Free Agent Drive. I have it back up. Uh, it's backing up about 300 gigs of my computer right now, and it backs it up every single night. This is the computer that's, or the hard drive that's connected to my computer. It runs every day, and it just backs up the hard drive that I use on my computer, plus another hard drive that has all of my media on it. So, I would highly suggest you setting something like this up, where you're going to back up, where you're going to have an external drive that is just used as a backup. It'll cost you 50 to 100 bucks to have that to buy that drive. And for that uh, amount of security in your mind to know that your data is backed up, that $50 is a very well spent $50. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, please feel free to leave me any comments with experiences that you've had or any help that, that you can give uh, in making backups. I'm always interested in finding out how you do your backups. Sorry about the quiet audio on that part of the video. Hopefully I'll get it right next time. The point of doing this is to help you start making backups. It is so important. 
If you have any of your own experiences, please post them in the comments because I'd love to be able to help other people make correct backups. And I'm also up to learning some new things myself. Good luck with it.